There's not really much to say about this. It's chocolate, it's chewy, it goes in your mouth, it's delicious. But I think we can elevate it a step and make it a little fancier. Say a chocolatier version, if you will. Okay, so we're about to film another video, but I have to say something really quickly. Very important and exciting announcement. We have been featured on The Burger Show. It is up now, the link is in the description. If you haven't seen it yet, go down there and watch it. Me, Alvin Kailan. Mm, little homies. Making burgers. So, uh, go watch it. Okay, so today we're making fudge. Now, we're gonna do it three different ways. We're doing a simple one that's ultra easy, and then we're gonna do a fancy one inspired by kind of like a French chocolate shop. You got the hazelnut praline and all that stuff. I won't get too far into it, but the last one is a healthy version. We'll see how it really stands up with the rest. But with all that said, let's make this, shall we? Okay, let's start with Mr. Simple. Ultra easy, plain fudge. No candy making required. Start off with an eight by eight baking dish, spray it lightly with oil, add in some parchment paper to coat the bottom, leaving some overhang on both sides. Then in a medium sized sauce pot, add 18 ounces or 500 grams of rough chopped chocolate. This could be in the form of chocolate chips, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, although I'd really recommend using 60% cacao dark chocolate. Then add 2 tablespoons or 28 grams of unsalted butter, half a teaspoon or 4 grams of fine sea salt, 14 ounces or 400 grams of sweetened condensed milk. Obviously, I recommend making your own sweetened condensed milk, which you can get the recipe from my pumpkin pie video. Finally, add 1.5 teaspoons or 4 grams of vanilla extract, stir that all together, set it over medium heat, and let it heat while stirring often until completely melted and homogenous. Don't overheat it. Now pour that into your prepared baking dish, spread it out to the edges, and let it sit in the fridge for three hours or overnight. Then all you gotta do is pop it out, cut it into nice even squares, and observe their lovely chewy and fudgy texture. And yes, after they've been cut, they can absolutely be left at room temp. They're delicious. Now next we're gonna get a little fancier. Hazelnut praline fudge. First, spread out one and a third cup or 175 grams of raw hazelnuts on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Place it in an oven set to 350 Fahrenheit or 175 Celsius for 10 to 15 minutes or until nicely toasted and their skins begin to come off. Now toss those brothers into a clean dish towel and rub together until most of their skins have been removed. Let those cool completely for about five to 10 minutes, then add them to a bag and beat them until you get a nice mix of fine and rough crumbles. Get a baking sheet and line it with silpat or parchment paper. Then in a medium saucepan, add two cups or 430 grams of granulated sugar and half a cup or 120 milliliters of filtered water. Mix it together, clean the sides of the pot and set that over medium high heat and bring to a boil. Then immediately reduce the temperature to medium and let that lightly boil, you know, sort of slightly above a simmer until it reaches a deep amber color. Then immediately turn off the heat and whisk in one tablespoon 14 grams of unsalted butter. Then once it's combined, add in your hazelnuts and stir together until very well incorporated. Now pour your hot praline all over the baking sheet, spread it out nicely, make sure it doesn't actually touch the pan itself, or you'll enjoy the nightmare of cleaning that. Now let that cool completely until it's a beautiful hard candy like this. It should be stiff and it should snap. Now break that in half and break that half into pieces, pop it in a plastic bag, beat it up yet again. Well, would you look at that? Twice beaten hazelnuts, my favorite. Until you get a medium crush looking something like this. Now for our fudge base, we can keep that the same as before. Four. or you can candy make if you want, but this is easier. Add the 18 ounces of chocolate, although this time I use some nicer, more expensive chocolate, and I also replace the extract with one whole vanilla bean, and then everything else is the same. You mix it all together, you melt it down, and then before you add your base to the pan, stir in half the praline that's been crushed, or more if you like, then pour it into a prepared pan, spread it out, and cover the top with some additional praline because it looks nice and cute, then pop it in the fridge to set. Then you slice it up and go to crunchy hazelnut praline town that almost has a fancy chocolatier quality to it. Okay, I have one more, and I never thought I'd say this, but a healthier, more nutrient-dense, with a vegan option fudge. I know. Can't believe it. Here we are. I did it because they yelled at me, okay? To make that, you're gonna combine one cup of smooth peanut butter, then whisk in a third cup of softened coconut oil. That's a first my channel because I really hate it. Half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a quarter cup of maple syrup or honey. Obviously not honey if you want it vegan, all right? Don't at me with that bullshit. Now whisk all that together until thoroughly combined, add to a prepared pan, same as before, and then instead of the fridge, now you're gonna pop it in the freezer for two to three hours before slicing. One thing of a note is if you leave it in the freezer too long, it'll get too hard and it's more like snappy. I'd recommend letting it come up to room temp a little bit before slicing. Once you've got your nice cubes, let's see if the flavor will match up to the healthy quality. Or is it the other way around? I don't know, this is confusing to say. You know what I mean. I don't even wanna eat this fudge anymore because it chipped my new knife. <laughs> <laughs> this is the normal fudge. Look at these teeth marks. If yo fudge ain't making teeth marks, 
You don't even have fudge. I will say that it's very, very sweet, which fudge literally has to be. That's what fudge is. This is what chipped my knife, so I hope that there's no metal in here, because if I swallow it, I'll die. Hazelnut praline fudge. It has a very distinct sort of like sweet chocolatey flavor, and then that intense crunchy nutty hazelnut. Last and definitely least, rotation mark healthy, sort of vegan fudge. That's actually pretty good. Look at that. Because of the coconut oil, it's a little bit messy, but flavor-wise, I think I like this one the most, aside from this. I just wish I couldn't taste the coconut oil in this. This is why I hate coconut oil. See, this is a problem. There's a fudge for everybody here. If you don't want to spend any time on it, and you just want fudge right freaking now, you do this. If you want something more special, you do this. If you want to make it healthy or vegan or whatever, you do this one. You get it? You got it? All right, please enjoy. I'm going to go cry over this now. What else is thick, rich, and chewy? I was going to say my ass, but maybe that's too much. Be real. Reminder, do not forget to go check out the burger show that I was featured on. It's up the description. Go there, click it, and watch the video. <sighs> All right, guys, and that is it. So we made fudge three different ways. Easy, fancy, healthy. Now, the healthy one actually was kind of good. With that said, I do feel like could have been better, but for a healthy version, not bad. Still high calorie, but not quite as much sugar, and it's got nutrients and blah, 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 blah. If I was gonna pick one, I probably would pick the fancy one. Oh, look, Josh picked the fancy one. What a surprise. Well, the point is just that the healthy one, I can just taste the coconut oil in it. I don't know how I feel about it. But if you're a fan of coconut oil, you'll like it. And if you want it healthy and you want it to taste good, you'll still like it. So with all that said, if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you.